Okay. The first experiment here is the quantitative survey of permanent grassland and temporary lay. What this is a quadrat, and it's used to see what types of vegetation is in a, in a lay field. You bring the quadrat out, you throw it over your shoulders, and you see, you have a little chart and you mark down what buttercups and what type of weeds is in the permanent. So it gives you an overall view of all the, the vegetation in the grassland. The next experiment is the line transect. And this, is the this tells the change of vegetation from the hedgerow to the field. The line transect has a marker on it every metre, them little uh, marks on it every metre. And we put it at the hedgerow and we pull it out towards the centre of the field and we mark, we no take note of the different plants that said each uh, marker. And we noticed that at the end of our study that we found that most weeds were near to the hedgerow, and this can be due to poaching. The next experiment is the population of earthworms. The population of earthworms. How do we get the population of the earthworms? Now, what we need is a five or six quadrats. We go into the field, and we throw the quadrats. We cut, out, cut away the grass, and then we get a couple of buckets of water, and we put, it in, uh, we put washing up liquid into the water. Once we put washed up liquid, we pour it out over the quadrat and we leave it for 10 to, 10 to 12 minutes. And we know if any earthworms that come up to the top, of the top of the soil, we count them. Then we calculate the area of the field. And this is quadrat is a half a metre squared. So there's four of those in a metre squared. And we we'd calculate what's in one metre squared and then calculate what earthworms is in the full field. So the next experiment then is... The Tulgren funnel is for collecting animals and we have, we put a clay sample in here where the light shines and they try to get away from it and we collect it in the bottom of the alcohol. The next is another pooter that's used to collect animals as well. So we put it up to the tree, up to the small insect and suck it in and we collect the small insects. So they are the ecology experiments. One, two, three, four, five experiments in total. Thank you. Right. The next one are soil experiments. Now, the first one is capillary action. To see what's the difference between uh, in sandy soil and clay soil. So we have water in the large basin, and we have sandy soil in one, clay soil in the bottom, and mu musical clod in the bottom. And we, capillary action is the ability of water to rise up through a soil due to capillary action. And we know in this that the sandy soil is better for capillary action. This is calculate the percentage of humus in a sample of soil. We weigh the sample, weigh the sample, and weigh the uh, crucible. Sorry, weigh the crucible first, then weigh the sample of soil. Then we, we burn the soil, and when there's no glowing left, and we calculate the reduction in the weight of the soil, and then we work out our percentage humus. Our percentage humus is the loss in weight over the overall weight of the soil, and we work, multiply by 100 over 1, which gives us our percentage. Now, the next one is the pore space of the soil. We get a, a sample of soil, we crush one of it with a pestle and mortar, and we destroy the structure of that soil. So now it becomes a structureless soil. And then we have a structured soil which has pore space in it, and we get a beaker of water, and we pour, see what volume. When we found then there's more air space in the structured soil. So that's better for aerating the soil. The next experiment is the pH, to find the pH of a sample of soil. We get a sample of soil, we put it into water, uh, put it into deionized water. We add a few drops of universal indicator and we swirl it around. And sorry, we should have filtered it through, we filter it through this and collect the clean water again. And then we test it with the universal indicator. And then we match it up with the colour chart and we read off the pH. A lot of pH soils are between 6 and 7. The next one is the texture, texture of a sample of soil. This is the measure, the amount of sand, silt and clay that's in a sample of soil. So we get the large uh, graduate cylinder, fill it up to 100 with soil and water, shake it, and then at the, we read off the percentage of sand, silt and clay. The next experiment is flocculation. What flocculation is, is when soil particles flocculate together to form a larger particle. So in this case, we get 10, or 10 grams of soil 
mix it in the water, mix it in the water. We add a few drops of hydrochloric acid to the first one, sodium chloride to the second one, and calcium chloride to the next one, and aluminium chloride. And we leave it there, we shake it up and leave it there and see does flocculation occurs. And we found that flocculation occurs best in the one with the hydrochloric acid.